I'm here at the Turning Point USA, America Fast. Michael Seifert's with me. He is the CEO and founder of Public Square, which is one of the hottest properties, really, in all of not just media, but the conservative ecosystem. You're at the forefront of trying to create a parallel economy so that conservatives who are fed up with giving our money to woke fascists, well, we don't have to do that as much anymore, thanks to you. Tell me about the business model and tell me a little bit about the evolution of the brand. Well, our thesis is pretty simple. There are a lot of consumers around our country, in fact, we believe it's actually over 100 million, that have felt ignored, neglected, uh, antagonized, actually. Uh, we're one of those consumers. We felt really frustrated watching a decade of companies turn against me and my family's values, trying to lecture us about progressive politics when I was just trying to buy a cup of coffee or engage a regular consumer decision. We turned that frustration into a solution because I didn't, we didn't want to just boycott. We wanted to actually put our money towards something positive. I think that's more powerful over the long run. Boycotting is important, but it's incomplete yes. unless I shift my consumer spending somewhere else. And so in January of 2021, my wife and I had on a piece of paper a list of businesses, about 20, that we knew from our local community we could feel proud of supporting because we knew the values of the owner, we knew they aligned with ours. Many of these businesses came from different industries, but they were all aligned because they made their communities better. Many of them were run by veterans, really cool network. I posted that list in a few Facebook groups and shared it with some friends. And then I discovered some other people in other cities saying, hey, we'd love our list. Like, I'd love to see a list like that for our community. And so we thought, well, gosh, what if we actually turn this list into a digital marketplace? Businesses could add themselves to the list by affirming a set of core values central to the list. And we could create this really neat parallel economy ecosystem. That way consumers could know that they would have businesses they could feel confident supporting. That idea was January of 2021. And now in less than three years, Public Square has become the world's largest marketplace of businesses that have not gone woke. These are businesses that love the country, the constitution, and the values that it protects. We have over 75,000 business vendors now, well over a million and a half wow. consumer members. It's been incredible, and uh, we're just getting started. Give me some examples of some of the brands that are featured on Public Square. Well, one thing that's pretty cool about the company is that our 75,000 plus vendors are all small businesses. So many of the names you probably have not actually heard of, they're small businesses. So. We have some of the bigger brands like Good Ranchers or Patriot Mobile or uh, Origin USA, Jocko Willenick and sure, Joe Rogan's sure, sure, brand of course, of course. that makes amazing American-made goods. LC King, one of the oldest denim manufacturers in the United States. Uh, Nurturals, which is great household cleaning products. Um, and then we have a lot of incredible smaller brands with stories to tell. Uh, Katie's Ice Cream out of Tennessee. Uh, we've got uh, amazing brands that we've actually started, like Every Life, which yes. is the only pro-life diaper company in the United States today, which is pretty exciting. Yes. So we have this incredible mix of brands, whether you're looking for ammo, diapers, household goods, you're looking for a new bank. We have service businesses as wow. well. So great banks like Axos that have uh, taken a stand against some of the corporate ESG dominated economic philosophies that we're seeing on Wall Street. Uh, uh, we've seen br banks like Old Glory or Farmers and Merchants in Southern California. Uh, these, these brands are phenomenal. They cross industries. They wouldn't identify purely as political. These are businesses that are focused on excellence and quality, meritocracy. And it just so happens that they're a small business that aligns with your values as well. So it's pretty cool.